good afternoon student so next part is characteristic of sewage in previous lecture we have to see sources of sewage then types of sewer then types of material using sewer then design of hydraulic gradient of sewer in this lecture we have to see characteristic of sewage so there are three characteristic of sewage physical characteristic chemical characteristic and biological characteristic in physical characteristic of sewage there are following sub point first color order temperature turbidity and solids first one color the fresh sewage gray in color second color of industrial waste water it depend on type of chemical process used means in case of sugar industry types of color is different in from in case of petrochemical industry then second term is a order normally fresh sewage has a musty order which is not normally offensive but get offensive after getting stain temperature generally sorry wait for a minute temperature it is generally temperature of sewage is higher than temperature of raw water with the temperature rise the bacterial activities goes on increasing up to temperature 60 degree celsius as the temperature rises it is viscosity also increase with a corresponding increase in its tendency solubility solubility of gases in waste water decrease with increase in temperature high temperature of water if discharge into stream its affect aquatic life for example fish culture then next part is turbidity so turbidity is depend on quantity of solid matter present in waste water or water also depend on quantity sorry also depend on quality of sewage turbidity can be determined by nephrometer jackson turbidity meter then next property is total solid in sewage 0.1% of solid present in waste water suspended solids dissolved solids collided solids volatile solids thick solid and settleable and non settleable solid it is a part of total solid then chemical characteristic of water or waste water so first chemical characteristic is ph then second chloride third nitrogen next one is a fat grease and oil next sulfides and sulfate and h2s gases next dissolved oxygen next biochemical oxygen demand and last one is a chemical oxygen demand then next stability and relative stability then first characteristic is ph the fresh sewage is alkaline in nature the ph of fresh sewage is 7.3 to 7.5 as sewage become stale it is fall due to formation of acid by bacterial action once oxidation complete sewage stabilize and gain becomes alkaline very acidic and alkaline nature indicate addition of industrial waste water then second property is chloride they are mineral salt hence not affected by biological action of sewage it comes comes from kitchen waste human faces and toilet and bathroom human etc contain 6 mg of chloride per capita per day industries like ice cream plant meat salting etc discharge large amount of chloride in waste water then next characteristic is nitrogen it indicate presence of organic matter in sewage it is essential for growth of plant and bio stimulant it is 
पेपर इन वेस्ट वाटर फॉलोइंग फॉर्म्यूला अमोनिया नाइट्रोजन और फ्री अमोनिया देन ऑर्गेनिक नाइट्रोजन देन नाइट्रेट नाइट्रोजन एंड नाइट्रेट नाइट्रोजन सो दीज आर द फर्स्ट अमोनिया नाइट्रोजन और फ्री अमोनिया इट प्रेजेंस इंडिकेट द एज ऑफ वेस्ट वाटर सेकेंड द एक्सेसिव प्रेजेंस ऑफ फ्री अमोनिया शोज दैट सीवेज इज स्टेल और ओल्ड देन ऑर्गेनिक नाइट्रोजन इट शोज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैटर देन अबुलर नॉट नाइट्रोजन इट इंडिकेट द वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ डी कंपोजिशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैटर इट इज रिप्रेजेंट द क्वांटिटी ऑफ नाइट्रोजन प्रेजेंट इन वेस्ट वॉटर बिफोर डी कंपोजिशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैटर स्टार्टेड देन नाइट्राइट नाइट्रोजन इट इंडिकेट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ पार्शली डीकम्पोज ऑर्गेनिक मैटर इट इज लेस इंपॉर्टेंट इन वेस्ट वॉटर पोल्यूशन स्टडीज एज इट इज लेस स्टेल स्टेबल एंड गेट ऑक्सीडाइज टू नाइट्रेट फॉर्म नाइट्राइट नाइट्रोजन इट इंडिकेट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ फुल्ली ऑक्सीडाइज ऑर्गेनिक मैटर they also indicate the most stable form of nitrogenous matter thus indicating the treated waste water the next property is fat oil and grease it is a mainly contribute from kitchen waste it interferes the biological decomposition activities then next is a serpentan comes preliminary from synthetic detergent for example alkali benzene sulfonate in bracket abs next phenol pesticide and agriculture chemicals phenol industrial waste water causes serious test problem can be biologically oxidized if below 500 mg per liter then toxic compound copper lead silver then bromine are toxic to microorganism resulting in the multiphony of biological treatment then sulfate sulfide and h2s gases first two are the form due to decomposition of various sulfur containing substances for anaerobic bacteria chemically reduce the sulfate to sulfide and h2s gases then other gases in other gases following are the commonly found in untreated waste water co2 O2, N2, H2S, NH3, and CH4. Then next term is oxygen consumed. It is the amount of oxygen required for the oxidation of carbonaceous matter, determined by adding small quantity of potassium permanganate with diluted sulfuric acid to the sample of waste water. Reaction allowed to take place four hour and fifteen minute at contain eighty degree. temperature potassium permanganate liberate oxygen which is consumed by waste water done the determination the strength of sewage it conclude strong or weak however this stage does not give total oxygen needed for the biological oxidation of all organic matter then next term is a dissolved oxygen so it is a amount of oxygen in dissolved state in waste water while allowing the treated waste water to release into river it must have at least 4 ppm mg per liter of do means dissolved oxygen the dissolved oxygen content depend on upon solubility of oxygen atom solubility sorry solubility of oxygen amount of sorry the do content depend upon solubility of oxygen then atomic pressure then temperature purity in bracket saline water or fresh water the solubility in waste water is 95% that of in distilled water then oxygen demand it can be expressed as biological oxygen demand And second one is the chemical oxygen demand, and third one is the total oxygen demand. Then theoretical oxygen demand. So first one, what is your biological oxygen demand? The biological oxygen demand, in short, BOD, is defined as the oxygen required for microorganism to carry out the 
biological decomposition of dissolved solid or organic matter under aerobic condition at standard temperature. The BOD test is useful for following. First, to determine approximate quantity of oxygen required for biological stabilization of organic matter. Then next, determination of size of treatment facility, measurement of efficiency of treatment facilities, then finding strength of sewage, then amount of clear water required for disposal of wastewater by dilution technique. The organic matter present in wastewater in two types. First, carbo carbonous matter. Second one is nitrogenous matter. First stage of BOD, the amount of oxygen necessary for microorganism to decompose the carbonous matter, it is called as a first stage of BOD. And second stage of BOD, in later stage of microorganism or nitrogenous matter is oxidized and the corresponding BOD, it is called as second stage BOD. The biological oxidation is slow process required in finite time for the completion. Through the initial BOD, represent the organic matter present in wastewater. Generally, five day period is chosen as a standard BOD test at which oxidation is about 60 to 70 percent, while within 20 days it reaches up to 95 to 99 percent. A constant temperature of 20 degree is maintained for incubation. It is commonly written as a BOD 5, means five days of BOD. The BOD test can be performed by two methods. First one is a direct method and second one is a dilution method. In direct method, the sample is kept in contact with definite volume of air or oxygen. The BOD is there. The BOD is measured by manometrically. Then dilution method, commonly used method. Sample is suitable diluted with specially prepared dilution water. Then BOD is a computed from following relation. BOD phi is equal to oxygen consumed into dilution ratio. So dilution ratio is equal to volume of dilution sample divided by volume of undiluted sample. Generally, test is carried out in 30 ml of bottles. If 5 ml of waste water is placed in dilution of water, make volume of 300 ml of the dilution ratio. That is 300 divided by 5, 60. In this way, dilution ratio is selected on the basis of expected range of BOD5. So adequate nutrient and dissolved oxygen will be available during incubation. So this is the table of biological oxygen demand. In first table, there's a percentage of mixture. In second, range of BOD. In Third table by direction of pipetting into 300 ml of BOD bottles. This is a typical value of five day BOD of raw water and treated water. So, value of BOD for raw and treated sewage. First, in first table, nature of sewage, and in second table, the value of BOD 5 in 20 degree Celsius. So, first, strong sewage, the value of BOD is a 450 to 550 ppm or mg per liter. Average sewage, the value of 5 day BOD is 350 mg per liter. In case of weak sewage, the value of BOD is 250 mg per liter. In standard filters, sewage influent, the value of BOD is at 20. And a very good filter sewage influent, the value of BOD is slightly decreasing up to 5 to 10 mg per liter at 20 degrees Celsius. Then next term is the chemical oxygen demand. In chemical oxygen demand, demand which is defined as it is the amount of oxygen required for the complete the chemical oxidation of organic matter present in wastewater. The COD test is performed highly acidic medium. We can use potassium dichloromate at the high temperature and also silver sulfate for the fast reaction. COD test is useful to find organic matter present in industrial wastewater. Also, it gives the amount of toxic matter present in wastewater. 
COD is always greater than BOD. The limiting value of COD or the standard value of COD is a 250 mg per liter or ppm. So uh, what is the relationship between BOD and COD? First relationship, COD is always greater than BOD. Second, COD can't reduce to permissible value easily like BOD. The time of test in COD test minimum two hours will be considered and in BOD test five days may be considered. COD divided by BOD ratio is equal to 1 as to 2 for domestic wastewater. If COD or BOD ratio is less than 3, difficult to biodegradation. If COD and BOD ratio is less than 10, it is a non-biodegradable material. COD and BOD ratio used to predict the amount of sewage available for the biological 